All right, guys, Sprucer, we're here at our little uh, getaway from uh, everything else. I'm sitting here with Steve from Shockwave. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. Steve is the owner. owner? No, no, no. no? I'm a web, the web publisher. I run the website for shockwavemagazine.com. Shockwavemagazine.com. Check it out. Okay. Who you guys interviewed so far today? Uh, we did uh, Matt from uh, Bullet from a Valentine, and uh, we did uh, Paul from Cannibal Corpse. And we're waiting on time for the Slayer. And um, who knows from Behemoth, but I got a Behemoth interview okay. coming up. So. Now, have you guys interviewed Slayer before? No. <laughs> you know, I'm going to probably be uh, chastised for this since, you know, this is being recorded. But I have never seen Slayer live. I haven't either, dude, so and don't feel bad. I think this is the most awesome thing here. My first show seeing Slayer, I get to talk to him, get my picture taken with him, hopefully. I mean, I've made a lot of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm stoked, man. I am. I am just so excited. I just love festivals, period. And you know, just, and I got to give credit for Manson too. I mean, I can't leave him out. But Slayer, dude. Mm. What's your favorite part about all this? About just doing this in general? You're talking about um, metal, metal in general. What's 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 your favorite part of being able to be here and be with the bands? Just doing what I'm doing right now, talking to people. I mean, just like what you're doing to me. You're talking to me. It's just you get. You know, just making friends and and they're just a release. I mean, metal shows are so much different than other other types of shows because everybody gets to, when it comes to festivals, everybody gets together. Or everybody's drunk off their ass, yeah, yeah. and not one argument, not one no. fight. You know, I mean, it's like it's like a backyard barbecue, man. Right. Yeah, I mean, what what better way of having a festival? You yeah. know, that's what we were talking about. We and her were discussing earlier while we were watching Black Dahlia is, you know, the economy's in the in the crapper, yeah. but this this place is, like, packed full, and there's <laughs> there's not a frowning face. I mean, all these kids are jumping, everybody's jumping around. They're coming through the, you know, doing the stage, the crowd surfing, stage, whatever, and they're smiling. Everybody's got a smile on their face, and it just makes me laugh that, that this music gets such a negative vibe from a lot of people. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, fuck them, man. Yeah. I mean, if they can't take if they don't like it, you know, oh well, you know. But the thing I I think is funny is I was watching Behemoth, and all these, you know, secure. I don't know if you want to call them security bouncers, whatever they, get, you know. But they all got blood all over them. <laughs> you know, and they're still doing their job. You have blood all over their face from people. But, you know, what better way to spend an afternoon? Right. right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Some people spend their Sundays watching football and you know doing that thing, which is okay, which is cool, but. I'd rather spend my Sunday doing this every Sunday, man. It'd be cool to do it every Sunday, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, last festival I did was uh, was uh, the Maryland Death Fest. I missed it, man. Was it good? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it was beyond good, man. Both rowers there. Yeah. Saw Mayhem. You know, I mean, that was Mayhem, dude. I thought they were phenomenal. I've heard some bad, you know, some bad words about them, but as far as their show, it wasn't all that great. But I mean, it, it was just literally mayhem. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was just totally nuts. I'm surprised Baltimore didn't, you know, get well, a bad rap. I heard they, they had to shut down a couple of streets. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a sonar, and Main Street was, you know, blocked off. They had an outside stage, and they did the inside. And of course, you know, all the big names were outside. You know, I mean, it was just, it was just awesome. And yeah. now, and I was there for two days. I couldn't even handle the third day. Sweet. I didn't even go. I was just so worn out. So what's what's next for you after this? Uh, that's a good question. I um, I'll be uh, personally, I'll be at uh, Judas Priest at uh, Merriweather shooting photos. Yeah. I don't have anything lined up as far as interviews yeah. yet, um, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I was thinking about doing uh, Marduk. Um, is uh, going to be a sonar. I was supposed to do them at the Maryland Death Fest, but he couldn't get in the United States. Um, I was going to do them. Actually, they're going to be there this Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, at Sonar. Okay. I'm scratching that one, but I will be a priest. And um, hopefully I can, you know, get some things together. I'm trying to pace myself because I would <laughs> – well, I don't like being on camera and everything. I, was, I went in the hospital right after the Death Fest. Right. Okay. So, you know, with, uh, with blood clots in the lungs. Oh, so. Yeah, no, so I kind of pace myself now okay. with the heat. But, you know, hey <laughs> – 
what better way you know, come out of a death fest get right in a hospital you know but it's all metal you know? <laughs> all right. well look man steve thanks for the interview yeah, no problem, and you guys check him out at shockwave.com shockwavemagazine.com shockwavemagazine.com throw them up all right peace